All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And before we get into the nitty gritty of things, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's reached out to me. I, I received so many uh, personal messages, DMs, and all kinds of support from you guys. And that means the world to me. You know, you're the reason why I continue to make videos, to see you guys in the comments and interact with you and stuff like that. To know that there's other people out there who really genuinely care about you definitely makes the guy feel loved, for sure. So I wanna say first and foremost, thanks for all the support. And before we continue, I do wanna say that my mental health is a lot better than it was when I decided to step away from this channel as well as my Andy Japandi channel. You know, it felt really good to take that break from YouTube, really get my priorities in order. And I also got some new equipment as well. If you didn't notice, I got a new Shure MV7 mic. And it's basically like a USB version of the uh, SM7B that you see in a lot of podcasts and stuff like that. We're gonna be using this for a lot of video editing tutorials and some on-camera stuff as well. But as far as the break from YouTube goes, like I said, definitely felt good to step away, get my priorities in order, and uh, move forward with a new plan. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people here who are disappointed that I'm not gonna be continuing to do Japan-related videos or to come on here and live stream and do stuff like that. I did leave the door open for me to make videos just on a non-regular basis. You know, it's not gonna be a case of, well, it's been a few weeks or a month or so since I last made a video, so uh, better crank one out, right? It's gonna be a case of me wanting to make videos, which is something that I lost along the way. For me, YouTube was always about having fun. You know, whether it was just fun talking with you guys, fun making videos, fun sharing experiences, with everybody out there, especially fellow YouTubers. I let a lot of meaningless numbers get in the way of that. Feeling like because I only have less than 2,000 subscribers on this channel or on my other Andy Japandi channel, I only get like maybe a couple views that those channels are massive failures. I, j I just let a lot of people kind of get in my head and dictate how to run things. You know, taking this break, taking a step back from everything really helped me put into perspective that to me it was never about the numbers. It was always about having fun and talking with people. And I lost sight of that. And for that, I'm sorry. You know, that's what helped me, you know, come to terms with coming back to YouTube was doing it for the right reasons and not doing it just to make a few shekels here and there. As far as the status of this channel, as well as the Andy Japandi channel, I'm not shutting the channels down or anything like that. I initially thought about doing that because I was just in such a, a state. I was like, I'm just, I'm fucking done. But uh, after having some time to think about it, I decided not to do that and to instead just come on here and make videos whenever. Do them because I want to, not because I have to. And I've decided also to shift the majority of my focus to the channel of mine that's doing the best, even though I haven't really been doing much of anything with it. And that is my Edit by Andy video editing tutorial channel. Although we are gonna be incorporating some new content on there in addition to video editing tutorials, but I knew I needed to take a break from all things YouTube just to get everything right upstairs before I even attempted anything else YouTube related. So if you guys are interested in learning about Adobe Premiere Pro and just kind of geeking out about uh, video editing stuff, you can check me out on youtube.com slash edit by Andy. And we're also gonna be rolling out some new logos and stuff like that. I'm really, really excited. And as far as other elements of my own life, I've just been playing some video games for the first time in a while. Um, as you guys know, I bought 
a Nintendo Switch as a graduation present to myself when I graduated Lakeland for the first time around with my associates. You know, I haven't really played it a whole lot before, but since taking a break on from YouTube, picked it up, I'm playing a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for the Switch. I used to play the, the card game and some of the video games back in the day, but just kind of fell out of it. You know, I bought it for the Switch and I'm like, man, it takes me back to uh, study hall back in the early 2000s. And I'd flip up my Game Boy Advance and play like, you know, Legend of the Duelist or tournament games that came out. So feeling good about that. And then school stuff, we're coming up on midterms this month. So gonna be a little busy with that. Although it is a much easier schedule this time around versus my other semesters. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of my classes or if they're trying something new, but they're spreading out the midterms. So we basically will have like one for one class one week and then two the next week and then another one the following week. So it'll be a bit more spread out, which is good. I won't be stressing as much about midterms. This is my senior year at Lakeland. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time coming because, well, it has. It just doesn't seem real to me that this is, you know, the home stretch of me finally getting my bachelor's degree. I'm set to graduate at the, um, the beginning or end of August of 2022. I don't have the exact date set yet, but it'll be around that time. And from there, we'll see where things go. I know I've talked a lot about the possibility of moving out of Japan. I know I kind of scared some of you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it is something that I am looking into, uh, especially considering where the job markets are right now for both Japan and America. And especially with a bachelor's degree, I feel like I'll have a lot more options available to me in both countries. Um, Japan especially, because I won't have to worry about the whole work visa thing. You know, that was my main hindrance in coming to Japan before because like nobody's given out work visas on an associate's degree or on a high school diploma for sure. But with a bachelor's degree, it's no problem. And a lot of companies are gonna be a lot less hesitant to, to hire me. But as far as what I'll be doing when, uh, when the time comes, you know, for me, I would prefer to stay within video editing because it's, uh, it's what I'm good at. It's what I love to do. And I'm already doing so much video editing work at uh, my part-time jobs here in Japan. I really like it, you know, and I want to, to move up to a full-time position or find some other company out here who's looking for a video editor, social media person. You may not think that there's a lot of companies hiring for something like that. But if you take a look around, you'd be surprised. I was certainly surprised. I thought for sure I'd have to move back to States to find even an inkling of work like that. But yeah, Japanese companies are catching on that. Hey, this whole SNS, which is what they call it out here, is uh, it's kind of a thing and it helps them uh, sell stuff. So they're hiring people to, uh, to put together content for them. Knowing a little bit of that Nihongo certainly helps for sure. We'll just see where things go. You know, I'm keeping my options open. Uh, for me personally, I would definitely prefer to stay in Japan. With Japan, I can, you know, live still pretty comfortably even if I'm not making a whole lot of money. If I do decide to stay here in Japan, definitely gonna be moving into a proper apartment once I get a job and stuff all lined up. If uh, things don't pan out in uh, Japan, in the States, I'll have a bachelor's degree so I'll be a lot more marketable. And if I ever get the itch to come back to Japan again, then it'll be a lot easier for me to get a work visa. Even if I do decide to leave Japan, it may not be the end. So just, uh, just keep that in mind, you know? Like it wasn't the end for me when uh, I got out of the Navy and went back to America, right? So with that said, guys, this is Andy. It's not for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh, fuck. <laughs>